Hello, this is Eugene from Goodry, and today we're going to show you how to install our ET series hybrid inverter and how to connect it to a BYD high voltage battery. This is inverter bracket for hanging the inverter. Here we have DC connectors for PV panels. And this pair of DC connectors is for batteries. Here we have the smart meter for controlling the output of the inverter and realizing the zero export function. Also, it's already connected with three CTs and they're all pre-wired. This is our IC cover for realizing IP65 protection. For installing the inverter, we have all the necessary screws and screwdriver. In the small transparent bag, we have the Smart Meter User Manual, the ET Inverter User Manual, and the ET Quick Installation and ATS Report. The first thing you need to do is drill holes in the wall, and you need to make sure they are 10 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters in depth, according to the dimensions of the bracket. Now, we've already done it here, but you will need to proceed with installing the wall-mounted bracket and just make sure that it's safe to proceed before you go ahead and proceed with the installation. Okay, we're gonna now place the inverter on the bracket. As you can see on the sides here, we've got two handles which make it nice and easy to grab and nice and easy to lift too. The ET series is equipped with two MPPT trackers, one pair of battery connectors. Over here is a Wi-Fi module and over here you can see the BMS cable and the smart meter cable. Also here you can see that we have two AC outputs. Okay, we're gonna start with the PV input. As you can see here we've got the PV1 plus and the minus and we quite literally just plug it in like that. You can hear the click, PV1 plus, and PV1 minus and the same thing for the PV2. Hear the click for the PV2 plus and the minus. As we just mentioned, we've got two AC outputs, one for the on-grid and one for the backup. And we've got five cables for each one. We've got the L1, L2, L3. The black one is the neutral cable. The green and yellow is the PE grounding cable. You need to make sure we start from the backup and we just connect them like so and just make sure they're safely connected. Okay, now that we've finished connecting the AC side, we're just gonna connect the waterproof cover for the AC side. Okay, and once the AC connection is done, don't forget the grounding cable with the side panel, very important. You just connect it here like that and tighten it. Okay, we're now gonna show you the smart meter connection and in order to help you with the smart meter connection, we're just gonna show you a project that we have here in our factory. So this is the smart meter cable and the smart meter cable should be connected right here to the smart meter connector. There are four cables and the three red ones should connect to the L1, L2 and L3 phase of the MCCB box. And the black neutral cable should be connected to the neutral line of the AC connection. There are three CTs and each CT should be connected to the same phase as the smart meter. The position of the CTs should be between the house loads and the grid and also the direction should be from K to L, so from the house loads to the grid. Okay, we're now gonna connect the inverter to the battery. Uh, there are three steps here. First, we need to connect the BMS cable to the battery. The BMS cable is pre-made and we only need to complete the other side. The BMS cable comes pre-wired, you just need to cut the other side that connects to the battery. And in this case, we need to select 
the first two wires over here, the blue one, and another one that is blue and white. And you should have the blue wire in port one and the blue and white one in port two, like so. And once you've got the wires in, you just place the BMS connector in the BMS receiver on the battery end, like so. Okay, the BMS cable connection is complete and now we're gonna connect the power cables from the inverter to the battery. For the power cable, as usual, red is positive, black is negative, and you quite literally just plug it in and wait for the click like that. Back plus, and back minus. Okay, so we've got the power cables connected to the inverter, and then we connect the other side to the battery power connector. And the trick for the battery connector is just simply lift this switch over here, and you place the positive, and the same for the negative, like so. Make sure it's safely connected. And the last step is to perform the dip switch configuration. Please make sure the three dip switches are all on the left. Okay, once you've got the cover back on, we can now power the inverter on with the battery by just using the switch over here. And as you can see, the inverter is now being powered by the battery. The battery connection is done and we can now proceed to the battery configuration. First, we need to turn the Wi-Fi off and leave your mobile data on. And then we can launch the B-Connect app. Choose the correct language and click Confirm. Click Confirm again when you've read the terms of the privacy policy. Click Yes and start configuration. Click Download Firmware. Once you've successfully downloaded the firmware, we can connect to BYD Wi-Fi and proceed. Go to the Wi-Fi settings and select BYD Battery Wi-Fi and enter the password BYDB hyphen box. Pay attention to capital letters. Return to the home screen and click on B Connect again. Click Update Firmware if there's a new update or you can click Confirm to move forward if your device already has the latest firmware. Click Confirm and we can proceed to the detailed settings. Step 1. Confirm the time and make sure the battery is synchronised with the current time. Step 2. Click to select the inverter model as Goodwe and click Confirm to proceed. Step 3. Select the battery model name and select the number of battery modules per tower. Click Confirm and proceed. Step 4. Click Grid to choose On Grid. Click Phase to choose three phase. Then click confirm and check the box. Then submit the configuration for the battery. Click complete. Now we finished the configuration on the HFZ battery. Now we need to disconnect the BYD Wi-Fi and continue the inverter configuration on the PV Master app. Launch the PV Master app on your phone and click connect device. Select Inverter with Wi-Fi and go to Wi-Fi settings. Find the Solar Wi-Fi SSID name. The Wi-Fi password is 12345678 and wait until connection is complete. Go back to the PV Master and swipe down to refresh. You will see the device listed. Click the device name and enter the system overview. You can click the parameters and scroll down to view the last two digits of the firmware. Please make sure the ARM version of the ET is over 11 when you try to use the BYD high voltage battery. Now click settings and click the basic settings. Enter the password Goodwe2010 and click login. The first setting is to choose the safety of your area and then click next. The second setting is to choose the correct work mode of the inverter based on the specific requirements and conditions of the site. Click Next when you're ready. 
The third setting is to choose the correct battery model name. The system will detect the battery model and capacity if you did the battery configuration correctly. Now just click set to confirm configuration and click next. The last step is the meter test. You can enable the meter test to check the meter and CT connection if the connection has been done properly. Click exit and confirm the change by clicking on yes. Configuration will be saved once the equipment has restarted. Once the equipment has restarted, we can go back to the system overview window to confirm if the BMS status is normal or has failed. Please contact a Goodwee technical support engineer if the BMS status still fails after several attempts. Besides the basic settings, customers can choose to enable some other functions based on the real conditions of the plant. Okay, the inverter and battery configuration is done. Thank you for watching this video and feel free to contact our service team if you need any support.